Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video guys. Your girl is going to Cancun. I am so excited. Oh my goodness. But before we go to Cancun, I just want to pack. I want to show you how I pack, what kind of things that I feel like you need for your trip to be successful. So if you are going to Cancun or you're planning on going to Cancun, make sure to watch the full video. So I'm flying with Spirit Airlines. I'm supposed to go from Philly to Cancun. So I'm gonna go from New Jersey to Philly, then Philly to um, to Cancun. Okay, so I'm flying with Spirit Airlines. I'm supposed to be leaving uh, on a Tuesday, early in the morning. So I can't be late. I've never been to Philly Airport, so it's gonna be news for me. Um, I'm flying with Spirit Airline, <laughs> and you know how Spirit Airline is, to be quite honest. If you are not paying for a check bag, you're only allowed to bring a carry-on. So this is my, not a carry-on, a personal item bag. So this is my personal item bag, but just a backpack. I'm trying to see how I can fit all this in here, plus my makeup, plus my shower stuff, all of it in here. So I'm just going to show you. So, because Cancun, like I wouldn't show you like what I'm putting inside my luggage. I basically stated it for you guys. Um, just my clothes, um, my makeup stuff, my hair stuff, um, and just like the basic things to be quite honest that I think I'm going to need. Um, so the first thing, the first and foremost important thing is basically your clothes. Uh, Cancun is hot, it's a tropical country. So it's a tropical city basically. It is hot, so I would just advise you to bring something that's breathable. I do have my swimsuits because your girl's gonna be at the airport a lot. Um, I have a couple shorts and a couple dress. So most of my outfits are basically dress, shorts, and a bathing suit. That's basically all I'm bringing. I wanna keep it simple. It's always a good idea to basically line them up. When you do line them up, you kinda of know what you're bringing and you're not overpacking. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing. And then the next thing is like have your documents ready. Have your passport ready. Um, make sure that you have your, you've checked in. It's still too early for me to check in, but make sure you checked in. Make sure that you have um, your itinerary ticket with you just in case immigration does ask you, okay, what's your return date? Can we see proof of it? Uh, COVID right now is not required. Yes, COVID still exists, but having a certificate is not required. It is recommended to basically have your mask. Um, I don't really have a mask, so hopefully I'm not asked to. Uh, the next thing would be, because I have a Canadian passport, I don't really need a visa, so I'm good on that aspect. Um, I believe when you get on the airline, they will give you a form just to fill out the purpose of your visit, where you're going. By the way, where you're going, have the address with you, have the receipt with you. I'm going to stay at a hostel, so I have to make sure that I screenshot it and have it on my phone just in case they're asking me, okay, where are you going? And just in case the immigration form that they give on the aircraft access for those information, I have a write-off. You know, I don't have to... I have it as a screenshot. I don't have to be like, oh my goodness, I don't have that information. So it's easy. The next thing that I would just advise you to do is have your phone with you. Have a phone that you know you can get service in Cancun. Um, I don't. My partner did. So my partner lended me your phone. Hopefully it works. If not, the plan B would be basically get a SIM card there, pay for internet there just so that I can navigate Cancun. But because I'm on a shore, it's like 50-50, I just advise you to download Google Maps of Cancun. Um, just the main areas that you're going to be at, just download the Google Map so that even though you're offline, you're still able to basically navigate and you're still safe in a sense. For me, I'm traveling by myself, so I have to basically do that. Um, another thing that I would just advise, a lot of people do say share your itinerary information, um, go the extra miles and basically fill out a form where the embassy 
your country's embassy in Mexico and knows where you're going to be at at all times in case something does happen to you. Um, it's good to do so. For me, I'm just going to share my itinerary with my partner. I'm going to have service, hopefully, for Rich Cross, so I will be in communication with my partner at all times. Um, I'm going to be at a hostel, so I'm going to be with a group of people. So I'm not so worried, to be quite honest. Um, the next thing that I would just advise you to basically have, aside from the phone, the Google Maps, is basically bring a debit card with you, um, a debit credit card, whatever you have. As soon as you get to the airport, just pull out your um, exchange money, basically. Pull out money. Uh, I would say bring cash with you if you could, just so that you can exchange. Sorry, my laundry machine. Just so that you can exchange the cash directly, you not have to use the ATM. Um, but if you want to bring your card and you want to use the ATM at the airport, feel free to do so. Um, so that you can basically have pesos. It's cheaper to navigate with pesos. Um, the next thing would be, this is optional. That's why I want to leave it as like the last thing. This is really optional. I'm traveling by myself, guys. I've never been to Mexico before. Um, Mexico is just like any other place. They have their good side, they have their bad, uh, bad side. So with that in mind, because I'm traveling by myself, I had to have a detailed itinerary of what I'm actually going to do every single day. Uh, it doesn't mean that I'm going to follow it 24-7. I can change, I cannot be in the mood to go to the beach, I cannot be in the mood to do certain things. But just to have like a guideline will kind of help me to navigate in a sense and also know that, okay, a, this place I know, I'll be okay. This place I know, I'll be okay. You know what I mean? And then from there, when I'm there with the locals, I can engage with them and say, hey, where's a good spot to eat breakfast? Where's a good spot to enjoy a nice dinner? So all those things I have it in my journey. It's not that I'm gonna get there and then I'm gonna be like, oh, what should I do next? Oh, what is there to do? Let me Google what is there to do. I can't do that. It wastes a lot of time. Right? and I'm by myself so I can't really do that if I'm with my partner then it makes sense but I'm by myself so that's basically the end of the video um, I don't think I have anything else to share with you guys aside from that oh last point sorry download um, a Google translator or just any sort of translator that you can use offline it helps to navigate um, through Cancun, it helps to communicate with the locals. Where I'm going to be is where the locals are. It helps when you go to restaurants and the menu is in Spanish and you don't understand what Spanish is. Like you don't speak Spanish or you can't read in Spanish. Having that would be so helpful, to be quite honest. And the last thing is it's always good to take the bus, I would say. It's always good to take taxis as well if you could. Uber, I know Uber is like a little iffy because of like the whole um, locals not liking the whole Uber thing because it's taken away from their jobs and stuff like that. So mostly I'll be using the public bus. I position myself in a spot where I don't have to always like need a transportation, any form of transportation to get to my final destination. And if I do, most likely I would have to take the, uh, a taxi, a regular taxi or a public bus. Again, we don't speak Spanish, so it's going to be hard to navigate through that. But that's basically it. I'm going to show you, I'm going to try my best to have a good time and also show you vlogs about my journey in Cancun. Thank you so much for watching.